K-I-L-R Killer Games Ah, here we are again, the Killer Nerd Gamers. I am the Killer Gamer. Nerd Gamer 2000. And we present to you, as we drop a page, Moon Patrol for the Atari 5200. I actually had this game. I had that console. Do you want to ask me how heavy that thing was? How heavy was it? Like a rock. Do you remember how heavy the PlayStation, the fat PlayStation 3 was? No. Oh, that was heavy, too. I remember how heavy a tube TV is. Hmm. Yeah, well, not quite as heavy, but still heavy. So those controller, that controller there on the screen, um, they actually fit in the back, in the back of that 5200. It opens up, and you can put the controllers back there. Oh, that's nice. So it keeps it away from dust. Yeah, I, it, it was kind of a cool little feature. I loved my 5200. I hated the controllers. I mean, they look cool, but the joystick itself was not centering, and they were they tend to break. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't the greatest. All right, well, let's talk about the history of Moon Patrol. The arcade version was released by Irem in 1982. It was developed by... Takashi Nishiyama, who also created the Street Fighter series. Huh. The more you know. The further you go. Do, 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 do. Anyway, notable for unique blend of side-scrolling, driving, and shooting gameplay. Alright, it was the top five top grossing arcade game on the North America's replay charts by January 1983. So, top five of the grossing arcade games. 1983. Only 1983. in January, though. No, by January. Oh, okay. So, by the time uh, 1983 of January came, it was, the, it was in the top five. Okay. Ports of Moon Patrol, well, the 2600 and the Atari 5200, which is the one that we're going to be playing, the Atari 8-bit and Atari ST computers. The 8-bit computer was very similar to the 5200. Graphics are like pretty much almost exact. Uh, and then the Apple II, the VIC-20, that's the Commodore VIC-20. The Commodore 64, which came after that. The IBM PC. And the TI-99 slash 4A, that is, that's as for Texas Instruments. Wait, that's a calculator, isn't it? Yes, it is, and they did. Com yeah. They did computers too. I was like, wait. <laughs> Just like the Intellivision was made by Mattel, which also does. Ha they did handheld little games, and they do dolls and stuff. So Hot Wheels, <laughs> Barbie, <laughs> and they made a video game console. So yeah, uh, Moon Patrol. We're gonna look at the instruction manual here. Let's be careful out there. When you signed up with the Luna City Police Department, who would have thought that you'd be assigned to Sector 9, home of the toughest thugs in the galaxy? Sure, you've got the finest patrol car on the force, complete with anti-gravity jump buttons and laser bullets. But laser bullets, that's a new one. But in the rough terrain of Sector 9, you need more than fancy equipment to survive. Just evading huge craters and moon rocks is hard enough without having to deal with hostile UFOs and enemy landmines and tanks. Getting through your patrol in one place is almost impossible. Starting the patrol. Insert your Moon Patrol cartridge in your Atari 5200, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is how you start the game. That's um, patrol car controls. Use the top fire button, blah, blah, blah. Patrol details, your, your beat is divided into two courses, beginning, Faruqis, and Championship. Hence, for rookie drivers, play the beginning. You'll jump farther when your patrol car is moving fast. Be sure you're driving fast enough to jump over an obstacle. Try taking one long jump over two closely positioned obstacles. Your laser bullets are only effective a short distance in front of you. Don't fire too early or you might miss your target. 
Some UFOs drop missiles that form new craters. Learn to recognize these UFOs and eliminate them quickly. When an enemy missile appears from behind, jump over it, then blast it when it's in front of you. Okay, so here's the scoring here. Jumping over craters, over landmines, rocks, rolling rocks, tanks. Alright, let's play! supposed to avoid it. I pressed the wrong button. Are there a limited amount of uh, bullets? No, it's unlimited. I know I've gotten to the second checkpoint, I just don't know if I've gotten farther than that. That was close. I was like trying to figure out what am I going to do. This was such a great conversion from the arcade game. No! Wrong button! You explode into a, uh, Like a mushroom cloud, it looks like. I've made it all the way to Z <clears throat> before. I don't know if I've made it because uh, it starts starts over. I think with like different colors or something. I thought it changed colors. Depending on the I'm trying to shoot it. <laughs> that rock has a sad face. Wow, that started way too fast. Here we go. I remember playing this one a lot on my 5200. And, uh... Oh. Gyrus. The what? Gyrus. Gyrus is a fun one. Don't think I recognize that one. It sounds like you're saying Jarvis. That's G Y R U S S. <laughs> No. I'm 
button. <laughs> I feel that. That's I got like I six do. buttons on the front of my controller. <laughs> My brain keeps trying to invert the fire and the jump buttons. Cause in yeah, modern I know, day, I want the first one to be the, the fire button and not the other one. In modern day video games, jump is the X equivalent. Well, if we were using the original controllers, it would be a top button and a bottom button. You wouldn't even have it on the front. And I know I'm ah! yeah. <laughs> We might have to try this one more time. <laughs> I'd like to see an updated version of this. That would be cool. With the same music, just kind of, you know, updated, kind of modern. What, like the Final Fantasy remaster? Maybe, maybe a little bit, but... And, and it still has to be a side-scroller. And I was thinking, like, in between these levels, like, between, you know, when you get to E or J, there's, like, maybe a bonus level or something that you, you know, you get some bonus points. Like bonus points. points? Oh, look, you got bonus points. Oh, what? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even get any. Oh yeah. I think it's because I'm still on my first life. Right? Oh, that might be. Well, nope. not anymore. <laughs> I pressed the fire button instead of the jump button. I didn't even make it past A. 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 <laughs> A. Yeah, the ch 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 Yeah. Never noticed that. You can only hear the aliens. <laughs> you know, those look like fidget I'm like getting confused, where's my button at? <laughs> I know, it's so... I keep, my brain keeps switching them. Look at that. Ah, yeah. 79, that's your record. <laughs> you made it just, just, just in time. Oh, it's still you. I was like, why isn't it moving? What is, no, it's not working. I thought... <laughs> Oh, do you get bonus points if you finish fast enough? Or yeah, is it if you destroy that's... everything? No, it's the... Whoa, what was that? That was a mine. Oh. Yeah, it's based on time. Oh, jeez. That should have destroyed it. I forgot 
he's in the hole making guys. No! Oh. He took care of the rock, at least. That's true. So what did you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wrong button! Uh, okay, well, that was cool. I mean, you know, this is not like a playthrough or anything like that. This is just, you know, sticking the cartridge in and having some fun and, you know, moving on to another another game which not this video but after, another video after your rage yeah so you got to make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell and hey check out the playlist because we've had this show for quite a while had a bit of a hiatus and some time off but uh we're back we're back we got a lot of stuff so thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a killer awesome, awesome day, day.